、両、リアンの皇帝は、朝鮮にもともと中国の書籍だった資料を、中国にそのコピーを要求したときだと。これはあの、中国にその、儒学の本がないんでね、朝鮮にくれって言ったの。ギリシャ語とかラテン語、西洋の人がか,かつて勉強したように、朝鮮人は中国を勉強した。朝鮮には4世紀から20世紀まで、各制度、ザ・インペリアル・エグザミネーション・システムがあった。しかも5年から9年間、国立の研修所で儒学を検査してから、この試験を受けることができた。この試験に受かっても、さらにまた試験があった。そのいくつかの試験に合格すると投与されたと。昔、厳しいですよね。だから、徳川家康の徳川時代と一緒なんだよね、これ。だから、これはだから、4世紀から朝鮮をやってたんだ。日本は、あ、十何世紀でしょ。だから、日本人、朝鮮人馬鹿にしてるけど、こういう歴史があるんだよね、こういう。だから、儒学に対して。だから、儒教に対する意識っての朝鮮人は高いよね。And, um, Versus something else. And unfortunately, a lot of those debates that went on in Korea also became heavily politicized.、Uh, so the result was there's a lots of factionalism that characterizes the Chosen period. Well, factionalism is not a good thing. It's a good thing. It's a good thing. It's a good thing. But it's in service of a Confucian understanding of society. Okay? Okay,、uh, let's now look at Korea. We're going to look at Confucianism of、uh, various types and what it means within Korea. Real quickly,、um, when classical Confucianism reached Korea,、uh, primarily through the introduction of books,、um, and in some instances, Koreans going to China to study,、uh, they basically adopted Han Dynasty Confucianism. That is, that the idea that the society should be or- ordered according to the principles of Confucius. <coughs> Prior to the third century, or,、uh, <coughs> in the organization of these states on the Korean Peninsula, Koreans were organized according to a principle that seems strange, but it was, it, there's evidence for it. <coughs> the person who caught the most number of animals had power. <coughs> 三世紀前に、あの朝鮮でね、あの、これ多分意味わかんないと思う。It was called Chinese referred to it as the Han.、うん、Han ってとこ狩猟。狩猟でね、いっぱい、いっぱいその獲物を取った人が多いな。うん、called, Chinese referred to as the Han. In the Kogoryo Chronicles。これは、ゴゴリオって、こう、こうりょう。こう、こう、こう、こう、なんだっけな、ゴーリオって、高麗。ああ。高麗。It, dis- it dis- dis- describes how early k o g o r i o kings appointed their ministers after a December hunt. Those people who got the most animals became the highest. オーガ。One of the aspects about Confucianism that the Koreans liked very much, and the kings who supported it, was that Confucianism wasn't about clans. Clan to go to the clan affiliation or territory. Confucianism was about society and the need for、uh, a political system that everyone would adhere to. And the various kings on the various, the various kingdoms of Korea. だからこのまあそういう資料でもって官僚のね一時期を決めていた時代から朝鮮はね
コンフューシャニズムを政治に取り入れていたと。そして彼らは自分たちの国を守ることを選んだと。Eventually, generation after generation learns that it is right to respect the king. こ,れだ天皇はさ531年でしょ6世紀だよねでこの前にもう朝鮮はさ王様のさあのだから朝鮮の歴史ってあったかな朝鮮の歴史これちょっとこれはあの李氏朝鮮ですよねその前からずっと、うんこれはあれだな朝鮮王朝っていうと今時代ないじゃん朝鮮あこれだいやこれはあ書いてある書いてある九太郎とかコクリゴーリアとコクリだ前,前って紀元前のことですよねうんだからすごいんだよこの国ってしらぎやっぱ大陸につながってるからさ、うん、歴史が古いんだよねきっと、うん、ここは伝説自然まあ、これぐらいから彼らはあの国の形をなしてたんだよねくだらしらぎガヤってのは俺僕は知らないけど「right right time, mid, uh, period, um, many, really、uh, political organization、so,」彼はだからあのクランという豪族がね今言ったそのシラゲとかコークに従うようになってた。State organizations in Korea again that in fact monarchy is replaces clan rule。でモナキが今言ったシラゲとコークにな。And that laws are in fact the product of the king。Later on they are the product of bureaucrats。But Uh, the whole notion that what keeps people together is a sense of law.、Uh, this is actually, and I, I keep trying to emphasize this with、uh, people who don't think that Korea actually is a civil society. The idea of civil society is very early implanted in Korea. Why would clans living all you know, separated by valleys and mountains, in fact, ever cooperate? But they had to develop a sense of civil society. Civil law means something.、Hmm. だから、ルロというか市民社会にできていたんだな。Contact, lose, uh, これはシビル・ローと言ってるの彼が言ってるのこの時代ね。この前はさ、彼が言ってるのは。クラン、うん、バラバラだったそれがこういうふうにまとまってた well, I, I, I know, uh, 
people did break off and live off in the mountains by themselves. But by and large, most Koreans, in fact, have a strong sense of civil union. All right. Uh, in addition to that, Korea imported from China uh, all kinds of literature. Um, one of the great stories actually uh, was told, told to me by a Chinese historian was uh, we were talking about Korea and China and so forth. And he said, why did Koreans always steal our books? And he, because there are references in Chinese literature to Koreans coming in and buying up books. And uh, in the sixth dynasty period, uh, third century to the fifth century, we actually have correspondence between uh, the Southern Liang dynasty emperor and the king of Koguryo. And this, the Liang emperor in the south part of China says, you know, we're, we are sending you the following, you know, and so forth. Could you send us copies of the classics? We don't have copies. So they would actually import books back from Korea and back into China. Um, and the Koreans did this all the time. They, they brought in literature. They either did it directly by going to China, buying up books and bringing them back, or sending students from Korea to China for five, ten years where they studied and then they brought back the books. Mm -hmm. And every time Korea went to congratulate the emperor on his birthday, they would always have somebody there buying books. So everything was brought into uh, the three kingdoms and uh, the ruling elite, which now is subservient to monarchy, did in fact promote, uh, at least among their own class, uh, this idea of literary education. And schools and academies were created where people would learn to read classical literature and so forth. So in the early um, period of the Three Kingdoms period, China, Korea really adopts what I would call classical learning. It's not really Confucian, but it's a sense of classical learning in the same way that, you know, at one time we expect everybody to be able to read and write Greek and Latin, right? We don't expect that anymore. But, um, but when I grew up, my brothers, sisters, my whole family were expected to complete our classical education before we got into high school. So you had to be able to read Greek and Latin, in my case, Hebrew, um, and so forth. But um, this was expected. Same thing in Korea. Koreans really adopted so much Chinese literature and so on and so forth. And of course, Koreans did not write in their own language. <laughs> language when they wrote anything at all they wrote it in kanbu yomu kikai ga nai kara ne ima de ano koukou de oshiete ru ano kanbu ntu no ano mukashi no kanbu nan da ne ima kobu kanbu ii mo ni mo no chiyoku de natte ano sangokushi to dete kuru jidai no ano kanbu nan da ne mo kanzen shiken shiken kamoku としてやってる感じですか。うん、でもあれすごく大事でね。これ何度もね、あの、漢文の教科書を買ってきてね。もう一回勉強し直したことあるんですよ。あの、兄なんとかはからんやって兄っていう単語を今中国にないの。兄
やったんだ教育も再教育しようとしたんですよね。こういうのさあの、朝鮮の人たちがこの当時4世紀とか5世紀で勉強したわけでしょ。で、これ朝鮮、日本もね、あの、そうですよね、江戸時代の儒学者ってさ、若くしてものすごい勉強してるんですよね、今の時代と違って。今の時代ですと50、60ぐらいになってから勉強するようなこと、彼ら。10代、20代で勉強してる、まあ、30代で死んじゃう人も多いんだけど。They were using what was available. Early Korea also developed the civil service exam. Their foreign relations with China always used China as a way of protecting them against intruders so that when Shila wanted to conquer two other kingdoms, it got the Tang army to come in several times. When the Kitad invaded Korea in the 11th century, They got the Chinese to come in and protect them. When、uh, the Jurchid,、uh, Proto Mongol. Kore Jurchid. Jurchid. Came in,、uh, they got China to protect them. When the Japanese later in the 17th century come in in Korea, the, Japan, the Chinese to come in and protect them. So、uh, Korea had this strong relationship with China that, in fact, allowed their, their、um, security to be, in fact, taken care of that.、Right? ああ、ですね、これね、環境制度。で、今言ったのはね、こういう。